in this creaky, creaky chair. Ah, morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Miss Gold Robinson says, "Good morning, Soul Flow, and the morning thoughts family and family." Up, up, up. Thank you for being here, Miss Goldie Robinson. Triple F. Thank you for being here. Sips tea. Mm. Shout out to the people going out to work this morning. Shout out to the people coming in from work this morning. Extra special big up. Shout out to the people who work multiple jobs. I have the utmost respect for you. Shout out to the entrepreneurs out there, the stay-at-home moms and pops, the retirees, the drivers, all drivers. Shout out to the Brother Troy Starts Trucking Vlogs on YouTube. Please continue to support Troy's channel. Shout out to every single clean-hearted, good-hearted person who wants good for others as much as you want good for yourself. Shout out to you. Listen up. I'm a bit tired. I wasn't going to do morning thoughts this morning, but I'm holding myself accountable. So a little bit late, but I'll give you that late minutes back on the back end. I did a whole lot of driving yesterday, uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday. I was in Atlanta. I was in Georgia um, traveling, driving, and I was the only one driving. So finally reached back in yesterday evening, back into my own home and had a chance to sit down, you know, drop asleep, them kind of thing there. Kai kept me up till 2 a.m. this morning, and then I had to wake up again at 5.45 to do morning thoughts. So here I am. All right, so on the part in the red eye and everything like that. As you can see, I'm looking directly into the camera now. This is the eye that was uh, poked in by my daughter that looked like I was going to lose my eye a uh, week and a half, two weeks ago. This is the eye. And that happened two days before we flew out to Jamaica. So the eye's looking good. For those of you who are saying, so I still think there's something wrong with it. Maybe you catch me when I'm on a spliff or something like that. And you see my eye them red up. But my eye is healing. All right. And healing takes time. No, this is not about me this morning. And no, I don't wear glasses for the newcomers. These are glasses that are sold at uh, over the counter. Not over the counter. Yeah, over the counter. Not prescription. Just to block light out of your eyes, especially if you spend long hours on the computer. I like to put them on because they really do block the bright lights. And if you look in the glasses, you will see I have big box bright lights around me. So you can see me good. All right. So here we are this morning. Let me shout out the first couple of people in here and we're going to get started. It's going to get a bit steamy in here this morning. We have two topics to talk about this morning. We're going to talk about the Richie Stevens allegations of rape. Richie Stevens, big singer. He is more on the corporate side, I would say. Him not sing music that have curse words in it and these kind of things. You know, Richie have that voice that traveled the world singing music, representing Jamaica and Jamaica's brand. We're going to talk about that. I have a video that I'm going to play, and the video is of the accuser, not of Richie, because the Jamaica media played the video of Richie Stevens denying all accusations. But I have the video of the woman actually explaining what happened. So we're going to go through fair video, get a chance to look at her and hear what she has to say, because that's what she wants us to do. And we're going to probably pass judgment, but have a conversation. And we're going to do some update on Jack Cure. Everybody knows Jack Cure. Reggae singer, again, Jack Cure is locked up, just got arrested in the Netherlands. Jack Cure is in jail, and we're going to talk more about his situation. This is an update, all right? Before we do that, though, again, Miss Goldie Robinson, good morning, and thank you for being here. Triple F, good morning, and thank you for being Let me say this. Big up to all of the people that are going out to work for real. Big up to all the progressive, productive people and for real. Because, you know, some people, it's not that they don't have a job. It's that they don't want a job. You know, and they're comfortable sitting around. I don't know how they do it. So all the people who are working hard and are working towards something, oh, no, no, say, this is you, your thing. 
All right, so big up to you. Bugsy Daily, good morning. Nicole Bazaar, good morning. Our uh, Rick, I could never, Rick Alou, good morning. Jet Bar, good morning. Antoinette Simpson, O'Neill Star, Chrissy, Lomo, Sir Alfred Benjamin, Sir Alfred Benjamin, I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you. All right. Me left me little thing under each video now that says donations are accepted for this channel. You know, it takes a lot to run a channel, actually. A lot of man hours. You have to go dig up and do your own research and read through and make sure you're bringing across credible information and all this stuff. Then you have to stay consistent and be constantly filming and recording and editing and posting and answering back people and these kind of things. So, you know, a dollar donation, two dollar donation, ten dollar donation. So Alfred Benjamin is like one of the only people. I have about three or four people that will hit the like button on that and then say, so Flo, you should have put this up a long time ago. And boom, the cash app ring or the uh, we do donations through cash app and through PayPal or the PayPal ring. And I look at it to Alfred Benjamin. So I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Monique Thompson, thank, thank you um, for being here. Veronica Gale, thank you for being here. Sally Edwards, Elisa, Lisa, Roderick Shaw, Rose Martin, Andrew Shever, Shervet, Sherv, Sherevs, thank you for being here. I hope I said it right. I tried. Citizen Blue, Kimberly Marshall, thank you for being here. And Sash, good morning. I have Hey, I appreciate you. Portland, Jamaica in the house. I don't know why YouTube hid your Craig or Bailey. Mega, unhide your thing and show it because you didn't say anything out of place. You just said Jamaica in the house and YouTube hide your comment. All right. Sonia Semper, RN. Thank you, Carolyn Scott. JC, here from the UK. Big up to my UK family. I'm still saying I can't wait to get back to London. I, ha I think me and London has um, unfinished business. And <laughs> it should be a scene. Mm. All right, so let's get into this. Let's start out with Richie Stevens' story. Richie Stevens has been accused of rape. When I went to check the Jamaica media, all I saw was Richie Stevens' video clip of him denying the accusations you can go to loop big up to the loop you can go to loop i consider them a credible source of information and loop is like me if loop get the information wrong loop quickly corrects it and loop is not afraid to apologize and say hey we put out some information earlier this is not what it was or it was along these lines but it was a bit inaccurate so here is the accurate information i love people like that I don't like people who double down on the wrong, knowing that they're putting out false information. So big up to Loop for that. Loop has, just go over to Loop and look up Richie Stevens denies allegations. And you will see, they gave Richie Stevens video and printed a whole lot of words, but they didn't show the female. All right. See the female here. She's going to say our piece. I want you to listen, and then we're going to talk. We're also going to talk about Jacure in a minute. All right? Loop is like you, or you is like Loop. Hey, whichever one, um, 876 youth, whichever one. Loop is like me, or I am like Loop, whatever. So here we go. The pop in question, his name is... This is her. I more want you to listen than anything, though. Hi, everybody. My name is Eileen Lim. I am from Singapore. We saw many Asia. I'm Chinese. I am a beatboxer. I am a arts educator. I'm a content creator. Let me find my volume thing. And I am a survivor. This is my account of what happened on the 12th and 13th of November in 2019 in Melbourne, Australia, 
roughly six days after my 27th birthday. Before I start, I'd like you to understand that the reason for me getting this video out is because of the following reasons. One, I want the truth to be known and I want whatever that was done to me to be known. All right, before we go any further, Roderick Shaw says, um, she sounds like she's reading a script, though, so flow. Let me put my disclaimer out there. I have no dog in this fight, okay? I have no dog in this fight. We've been down this road before, and I've told you all before, I would hate to be the person to actually victimize a victim. Also, if it looks like she's right, she's reading from a script or whatever, Maybe she felt the need to write things down so she tell them exactly how. Not everybody could just get up in front of a camera and, you know, speak a story beginning to end and get all details accurate. And then later on, you're like, no, I didn't mean the 16th. It actually happened on the 15th and the 14th or whatever. So she probably wanted to get all her information right. I don't know. I just want you to listen and watch just like how I'm listening and watching. I haven't watched the entire thing. Right, I just started watching it and I stopped it and I said, I need to share this with you. So we are watching this together. Let's watch it. By who and what was done. I also want to tell the other survivors out there who may be watching this video that it's okay to hold your pup accountable. The pub in question and a formal police report was actually launched right after the incident. Immediately after the incident, I did a rape kit. I made a police report. If it happened in Singapore, I'm sure he wouldn't have been able to walk away after he initially got called into the police station. The pub in question, his name is Richard Stephenson from Westmoreland, Jamaica. You know him as Richie Stevens. Maybe the idol that you guys look up to or your ambassador. It's a shame that one of your ambassadors that was supposed to spread Jamaican culture during the tour that I was on has committed such a heinous act and has shown no regrets. I'm saying this story not just for myself, but the many, many survivors who've had to either stay silent about what happened to them, who never reported, or who still lives with their pub, or walk around. This is a man that preaches religion. Seems like a decent man. Thank you, 876 you. me, and the artist on tour that I was on tour with, trusted. There are some facts that I would like to be clear. First of all, no consent was given. I am speaking English right now. So if you want to talk about there's a language barrier, I'm sure no is a universal word. No was verbally spoken and blatantly ignored.
I did not go into a hotel with him for those people who have heard several versions of the story. We were staying together in an Airbnb with different rooms. We had a common living space, but that was it. There are no relationships between me. In fact, I called him uncle because the first time he came into Singapore, he tried to stick his tongue down my throat. And I came from a very sheltered place. In Singapore, Huh. Uh, what what you just say, huh? Listen, uh, hold on for a minute. Um, we're gonna continue this in a, in a minute, but I want you to understand. Uh, for those of you who, because I see people saying, "Is this a relationship gone bad or whatever?" After you done hear her side, because the only reason I'm playing her side is because Jamaica media only played Richie Stevens' side. Okay. And I wanted to go find out what this lady had to say and look upon her when she had talked. So I went and found her side and I'm playing her side for you. Check this out. She went on tour with him. He is a musician. She is a artist slash content creator. She describes herself as also a beatboxer and whatever else she does within the arts. That's how she ended up working with him and going on tour with him. All right, so for those of you who are confused and are thinking this is an ex-girlfriend and she's trying to get back at him because she better, that wasn't the case. They never had that kind of a relationship, even from Richie Stevens' account. But let's continue. We don't have a lot of crime of the extent that other people or other countries might face. So I lived a very sheltered life. Initially, when he did that to me, all I did was I just closed my mouth, didn't allow it. But at the same time, as Asians, we are taught to respect our guests. The only thing I asked my friend at the point of time was, is this a Jamaican culture? Is this a Jamaican way of breathing? And that's when I said, that's when she said, no. This is the behavior that he is doing when he's flying the flag of Jamaica up high. Claiming to represent your country, claiming to represent your culture, but this is actually what he's doing. I was on tour called the Jamaican Favor Tour with my friend who I was doing a behind the scenes for and managing several aspects of the tour. We made sure that the Singapore side was covered, some of the Malaysia side was covered. The tour was planned by her. So whatever rumor that was that said that we were Chinese girls, who only wanted money. Look me in the eye now and tell me that I'm lying. Tell me that we needed money. In fact, ask any survivor, do you think the money can have repay? what was taken and what was lost. As much as I hate to say the word, Richie Stevens is the man that raped me when my friend left she didn't mince words there. studio and I stayed behind to do my work. I stayed behind to edit a music video that I was behind on. And we trusted him enough that no funny business was going to be tried when I was left alone with him. This is not the truth. He did take advantage of the fact that 
I was alone with him. During which he was having phone calls. And he was talking about his mother. How she had a surgery. And he was worried for her. He got so visibly upset. He asked for a hug. I was like, okay, hug, fine. I agreed to a hug. But what I didn't agree after that was how he ignored my pleas to stop when he went further, when he tried to lie on my tummy, when he tried to hold me down, when every single time I said, no, I'm not comfortable, stop, he said, just relax. This happened in 2019. Oh, why? Right 2021. And I still remember every single aspect of what had happened. Do you think for a survivor is so easy? It just stopped there. How many months of therapy I had to go through? The relationships that I've lost. I was a shell of myself. When I went to the counselor in Melbourne, um, my boy saw us so far away. I was disassociated. But yet I remember every single thing. Can you imagine how that feels like? <laughs> Let me pause this for a second. In the middle of her getting deep, why are y'all mentioning who played this yesterday and where you watched it yesterday and all this other stuff? Like, if I I know you, I know you watch like fifty thousand different vlog channels and vloggers and whatever. It's being played here now. Watch it now. Nothing you're saying about who played it yesterday has anything to do with it being played here now. All right? She put the video out. If you want to see, I always give my information. She just opened up her own YouTube channel. So if you want to see the video, it'll be linked because we can't use her material without crediting her for it. Matter of fact, this will probably be taken down or striked or whatever simply because it's somebody else's content youtube recognize it as so keep the funny comments and stuff to yourself please unless you're talking about what she's talking about that's what we're talking about right now all right back to the story he did it not once but he started to tap his finger during which i panicked wait 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 what i need to go to the toilet But yet I remember every single thing. Can you imagine how that feels like? He did it not once. But he started to tap his finger. During which I panicked. And I said, I need to go to the toilet. I need to go. What the hell is this? No. He proceeded to try more. And then he penetrated me. And it happened for three times. During which there was nothing I could do. Wait, what? He's a way bigger guy than me. Deep in my heart, the only thing that I wish at a point of time, because I realized that I couldn't buy back, I was just wishing that my friend would come back. After I reported 
Williams. Claudia Williams. She never said night or day. She said he did it three times. He used his finger first and then he went in. And he did it three times. I don't know what she means. He went to the media. Three times. And said that the allegations were not true. But let me remind you this. If you go onto my Facebook, the only thing that I said was that I was sexually assaulted. I didn't name him. My friend said that she was going to pull herself off the tour. Because of the sexual assault. She also didn't name him. Y'all understand what happened here? She went on her Facebook and she said she was sexually assaulted. She didn't name him. He immediately went to the media and said, denying all allegations. We never read nobody, what she said. Simone St. Clair, I appreciate you greatly. Thank you. Her friend, who is the person who was there, like at the same place with them, the one who was on the tour, who she was working for on the tour, also put it on her site and said she was pulling herself from the tour. Still didn't name him. Richie said, it looked like them are come out. So me, I got to come out first. Listen, I deny all allegations ahead of time before his name was even named. But I'm watching. I'm listening just like you. Uh, let's continue. Yet, on the Jamaica media, if you search, Jamaican artists rape Australia. Right there. There was zero consideration of the fact that he just did that to me. Stefan 305, she just when told you what to go that. Google and what to look up. When visibly, I said no. Verbally, I said no. Stop it. You're hurting me. Ignored. Blatantly ignored. Then you can pretend like everything was okay when my friend came back. I was shell shocked, sitting at the computer. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. Before that, he had tried to kiss me, as mentioned, during the Indonesia leg of the trip. He did also attempt. And I pushed him away. I said, no. During then, he respected my boundaries. But this one, zero respect for boundaries. Blatant ignoring. Well, no. No is a freaking universal word. Two letters. No. I think that's pretty clear. So yeah, you did that to me. It has changed entirely my life because I lost, not just a part of myself, I lost myself. I didn't know who I was anymore. You don't feel like there's an identity of anymore. You're caught in a constant trauma. You're caught in a constant reminder. Yet, here you are, saving your skin on the media, saying that the allegations are not true. What allegations? We didn't call you. You called yourself up. What allegations, pray tell? Bang.
I, I have to drop my little inserts uh, as we go because me no want to forget at the end of it. So it's like four friends come over your house and you look around and your iPhone 76 is gone. You know, the latest version of the I mean, I care iPhone side or no. I, your iPhone 76 is gone as your friends them are filing out. I hear about I say, um, Johnny, empty your pocket. I think I will teeth it. You don't say that. You just say, I know my iPhone is missing, and for sure it was right here. And I'm absolutely sure that somebody who was in here took it. And the person will take it, jump out and say, Don't accuse me of taking it. I have one just like it. But nobody accused you. I'm just saying, it was a group of people here. Somebody who was in here must have taken it. It was kind of like one of them kind of situation there. Call out yourself. Hmm. Horizon Strata. Case closed from 2019. Okay. Where was the case? We'll talk about all that after she's done. She's almost done. If you have heart, then you should be upfront. Admit your mistake. Nobody will admit that more. And tell people what you've done. Mm -mm. Not hide behind like a coward. Not run to the media immediately and spread false news. Journalists, isn't it your duty to actually fact check? before you report. All the things I've spoken here are facts. They were in the police report. They were publicly shared. If you want to look for it, it's there. There's always this saying that I keep hearing. Oh, he has a family, so he can't be a perp. And this is precisely why there's so many of such cases. Isn't it scary? The thought that the person next to you might be a perp, a hidden perp, and you don't know it? I don't trust justice by criminal law. Because in Australia, it is innocent until proven guilty. In Singapore, however, it is guilty until proven innocent. I don't know how it is in Jamaica. Innocent until proven guilty. Depending depend on who you are. Yeah, my story out there, how it has affected me. How it has made me to not even recognize myself. For one and a half years, I was living in a dream where I don't exist, where everything was reactionary, where I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I didn't want to shower, people couldn't touch me, I had to watch cartoons, I could only watch cartoons because the rest of things was so triggering. And let me tell you this, so many times, I thought about killing myself because I didn't know how it was going to work. I prayed for justice. I was a believer in justice. I believed in the police. But then I learned that the laws are here to protect the public. Still, the power is with the people. Oh. It's up to every single individual to decide what is right. I 
I don't know whether there are any other people who might be victims. Under his hand, I don't expect you to come forward and say anything. Mm -hmm. This is my choice. And the only thing I'm doing is honoring my own choices. To upfront and call him out. You want his snippets of what exactly happened? You can find it in verse 2 of not all that glitters is gold. That was penned and written by my friend. That is not an anthem for survivors. Let's not talk about me too. Let's just talk about this very horrible concept of how many people are perps in disguise, of how many cases I've heard. Of how many great tapes survivors have to jump through to seek justice and redress for their own case. Yet people are so quick to dismiss. Either say this person dressed slutty, or you know, this person is a sudden way or promiscuous or mischievous. Marshall Lynn, Wilmot, that's not how it went. You you got you got some well, of it right, but not that. that. I'm a straight individual with a 14 year stable relationship with my partner who has supported me throughout this whole thing. That this person, Richie Stevens, has blatantly ignored. This effect of what he has done does not just stop at me. You've created a wave of impact. You've hurt me, but then you've hurt my mother who blames herself for letting me even go to Australia. You've heard my partner. For not calling you out sooner or bashing you. When you first did that to me in Singapore. By kissing me. You've heard my friend who treated you like a mentor. Who wanted to really grow Reggae, the scene in Asia, to represent Jamaica proper because she loves Jamaica. The many, many things that you put on the line, that you have affected the lives of so many of my loved ones. It's also one of the reasons why I'm coming out to say this right now. A simple assault does not only affect the survivor. It never does. Hmm. I'm not asking you to hold signs or picket rails. I simply want the truth to be known. I simply want my side of the story to be heard. And to come forward and tell you that all the things that he has accused or allegate that we actually did, the Chinese girls wanted money, we were this, we were that. Not true. My friend organized the tour. She herself is her own. Claudia Williams, friend. it's the same story no, she's telling. No club needed. There's no more details. She said the same thing here. It's one video. It's this. I have a life. I'm not some roadie on the road. Not only was I documenting, I was also helping with the administrative stuff. I was very much a part of my friend's team. We trusted you. I drew my boundary with you by calling you uncle. Because clearly, Uncle means, yes, I acknowledge you're there, but you cannot touch me. I do not love you. I'm in love with my partner. And we've actually kept in contact the whole time throughout the tour. 
all the way until the incident happened and that's when I disappeared and he knew something was up. You have a family. Yet, without a blink of an eye, you can still do that to me. You have a daughter. For who says just because you're a family man means you're a saint? No, Raquel, y'all not listening? These are just the things that I want people to think about. Jeez. Again, these are all facts that you can look up. And I'm addressing just the other concerns that I've heard. The truth will be known. And in one way or another, You can't run from the truth. Thank you, everybody. All right. So let's talk about some of your comments before we go on to the Jack Your thing. For those of you who want to watch this all over again and then look at um, her channel, it's called General Ling, G E N E R A L, like a general in the military. Space Ling, L-I-N-G. Just General Ling on YouTube and the channel will pop up and you can go through whatever content she has over there. This video doesn't have much views on there yet. She just put it on there. However, that's where you can get it straight from the horse's mouth after this and weigh up whatever you want to weigh up. Um... I'm going to say a couple of things, which some of you have said in the comment section already. If she's lying, then she's a good actor or actress. If she's lying, I've seen those comments here. She deserves all the awards that goes for someone who acts very well and convincingly because she sure is convincing. For some of you who are probably not well-traveled or haven't been in contact with people who speak different languages and come from different cultures, there was nothing wrong about the way she was speaking. Again, I saw somebody say it already in the comment section. Those people usually have to say stuff in their mind first, translate it from their language to English, and then say it out their mouth. Whereas for you, English being your first language, it's from thought to speech. For them, it's thought translation speech that's why there's a delay in how she speaks and it sounds like she's reading it off of something like that right if she's lying if she's lying i have to say if she's lying because i wasn't there i have to say if she's lying i can't listen i can't take just somebody's accusation of another person and be like, oh, he's the worst person in the world. Hang him. Hang him. I can say if she is lying, she's doing a good job acting because she is very convincing. Her story is convincing. Her story was detailed. There wasn't much flinching in there. The crying came in at the right time, emotionally um, upset at the right time. You know, you can tell a story until you get to the point where the act actually happened and you have to relive it by describing it. I watch for all that stuff, human behavior I'm looking at. And let's just say she is very convincing, right? She, je Kai Oliver, yes. She, je she genuinely looks traumatized. However, I and you were not there, right? Richard Stevens' side of the story but listen, listen, listen. This wasn't done in America. This was done in some other country, right? Which is, is it Australia? Australia. Certain people are respected more than others, if you understand what I'm saying. So big celebrity comes into town. He's playing at the huge event that we're having at the stadium 
uh, in a few days and you're here, just some string along, hanger on, a uh, little Asian girl, whatever, uh, sweep that under the rug. Get her out of the way. There's a lot of money invested in this thing. We're paying him. We have to pay him couple, like 20,000 US dollars just then. Then we have to fly him in and provide his space to stay and this and that. And, you know, it's just a lot, of, a lot of different things that goes into this. It's the same. It's the same thing like looking at Jamaica, how certain people get away with certain things, even when it's blatantly out in the open versus how others get them foot kicked from under them dragged for doing anything close to that i would say i hope it's not true but it happened already if it did happen uh, happened already because the stories are coming out now the part where she said and this is what i always say i said the same thing with the footballer down in miami that it, who is locked up for the same situation, met girl at midnight, went back to room 148, whatever. I said, if a female is serious about the alleged act that took place against her, don't jump in the shower, take a shower, change your clothes, wait till the next day or wait till years later. Not saying that if she does any of those things, it didn't happen. Because some people are traumatized when these things happen to them. Some people are confused. They don't know what the hell to do. Some people feel dirty, grimy. They don't even think about retaining evidence, building a case, keep everything on me, go to the police, do a rape kit. She actually did all that. She kept everything on her. She went to the police. She did a rape kit and everything. There's no say from either party of what happened after on the law side. If you did a rape kit, what happened? What was the findings of the rape kit, et cetera, et cetera? Richie Stevens, um, his thing, he says, and I think in all fairness to him, we should at least listen to what he has to say. What do you think? Because we just we just aired all that the victim said, you know, and sometimes that can play on your emotions. Loop News, Jamaica. Richard Stevens denies allegations. All right. So here's Richard Stevens. The Loop printed it and said that veteran reggae, reggae singer Richard Stevens has posted a YouTube video online in which he has denied allegations that was made against him by a 27-year-old ex-soldier, Elaine Lim, a.k.a. General Ling, in Australia in 2019. In the YouTube video, as part of which is carried below, the singer denied the allegations which first surfaced days ago when Lim went public with her own YouTube video, which we just watched. Miss Elaine Lim made some allegations. Some of what she said is true, is what Richie said. But I'm here to tell you what is true. And we're going to watch his piece of the video real quick, just to hear what he says. Back to back it. In response. Richard Stevenson, ooh, ooh. AKA Richie Stevenson. And I'm here today to understand. Let, let, let's, let's do this. Let's turn this down. In this one, Richard Stevenson, a.k.a. Richie Stevens, and I'm here today to address some allegations that you might see going around about me. Initially, I said I wasn't going to say anything, but now I think I owe it to my family, to my friends, and to my fans to come out and set the record straight. Miss Elaine Lim came out on social media and made some allegations against me. Some of what she said is true. But I am here to tell you what is true. One, she was on tour with me in Australia in 2019. 
Two, she made a formal report to the police against me. Three, she did a rape kit. But what she did not tell you, a thorough investigation was done by the Australian police. I was detained. They took a statement from me, a statement from her, a statement from other people, and there were cameras in the vicinity. While I was detained, I called my attorney, Mr. Christopher Townsend, who advised me on what to do. And at the end of that investigation, they found her. Let me let, me let him finish. Let me let him finish. Um, let's, 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 let's let... Allegations were simply baseless. All right. And that is what Luke Jim News. Stevenson. This is what Luke News put up. Just just that small piece. Now I've seen where he might have done longer interviews or you know a longer video explaining his side of what happened. Him said, uh, cameras were in the area." I don't think cameras are in your private areas, right? Because she described where it happened, which was inside of the Airbnb. I don't think cameras were in your Airbnb, in your living space, your living quarters. Cameras might have been outside of the building leading up to, but usually cameras aren't inside of a building. I'm not going to, this one is very touchy. This one is very touchy. Um, as a Jamaican man, I don't know why these comments are being hidden. Maybe you're putting too many curse words in them. I'll go ahead and show your comment right now, Capricorn. I'm, um, let me see somebody just say, uh, you notice the sequence. You notice the, se you notice what she said. Now, all this is coming to light now. All this is coming to light now, simply because, like she said, she put out and then he responded without even his name being mentioned in it. So now she might as well call the name and get everything in the open. Uh, He's yet to state categorically that he did not assault the woman. Yes, she. she you you got to understand Asian culture too. Men are talk about Jamaica broke out culture. Men are talk about bigger peace now. Men are talk about boy, something like 40. I'm talking about Asian culture. Asian, Asian culture is kind of like, I don't know, they're more. Let me let me not even go there because then some people are gonna take it and run with it the wrong way. I'm just saying the, the way how she described what happened. It's pretty convincing. It's pretty convincing. So you're kissing the girl, right? When you first meet her. Somebody said she was on another show. Um, was she on Mr. Vegas last night live? And her husband was there when she first met Richie Stevens. And when he tried to do what he did, I guess he didn't know it was her husband or whatever. So he apologized and said he was drunk or whatever. All these things. I would like to hear him actually break her video down. That never happened. That was a lie. This part was a lie. He's like, some of it is true. Some of it wasn't true. And then drop two little piece and then... Done. Like as you all know, guilty doesn't always mean guilty. And uh, because you got away with it, doesn't always mean you didn't do it. You know? Guilty doesn't always mean guilty. And because you got away with it, doesn't mean you didn't do it. I'm not saying he did it. I'm just looking at it from another perspective one can sue for defamation knowing that the other person doesn't have proof or that they're lying that's true that's true you can definitely do that however 
in this particular case, this is a case that is ongoing in my mind. This is a case that is ongoing. This is not done yet. This is not done yet. The police, for whatever reason, there in Australia. I mean, how quick could this investigation have been done? They're on tour. They're moving. It's not like he was living there for a couple of months or a year or whatever. He was touring. They were moving. You heard her talk about the Singapore leg of the tour. And this that means they were moving around. They were doing different spots, different places, different countries. And she went on to say how he respected her after he tried the one kiss thing with trying to put his tongue in her mouth. And, you know, she was asking her friend, like, is this like the normal way of greeting for Jamaicans? And her friend is like, no, it's not. It's inappropriate. Um, he's, he respected her space after until they got to that opportunity where they were alone. I see people saying stuff like, listen, if I meet a man and him try to put him tongue in my mouth the first time I meet him, we're not going anywhere after that together. Well, I, as a man who've lived on earth for quite some time, I know that things could be, the lines could be very blurred. Speaking really, you know, when you press up on a thing and sometimes, I mean, it's even in our culture, how we approach woman in us, so I want to be able to you know, you look nice on everything, you know, I'd like to get to know you, um, blah, blah, blah. And girl say, or woman say, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not interested in it. I have a man already. What's the typical Jamaican pickup after that? The answer to that is usually, but me not talk about your man. Me not talk about me and you. So having a man doesn't normally stop anything or making it known that she have a man. Doesn't normally, normally stop anything to, from pursuing and these females don't normally run away from you. They go and they tell their friends, like, girl, I say, every day I'm deaf on me, you know, every day I'm just a press up, press up. I'm guessing it's the same in other cultures. It's like, I'm here to do a job. I have a job to do. But I have to deal with this guy while I'm doing the job. I don't know how to make him understand that I don't really want him. Or maybe if I rebuff in a strong way, I lose what I have going here. You know, it's kind of like going to work and your boss wants some. Some of the women know what I talk about. You got hired because the person who interviewed you for the job was a dude who really did want to smash for a long time. You could be whatever your job is. Um, and he's going to try as you're working. And you're trying to play chess. A cat and mouse game. I could lead them on just enough, but not too much. I mean, I want to go nowhere because I'm not really interested, but I really do need the job and I like the position and I would like to work here, blah, blah, blah. One of them kind of something that it look a bit complicated. It look a bit complicated. Richie Stevens says no rape happened. I don't know if he said, I, I would like to hear more from him. Did any sexual activity happen between both of you? That's the part I want to hear. Why would she go do a rape kit if nothing happened? And then if it did happen, was it consensual? She give a little pum pum on the side, even though she have arm on? Or you took it? That's what I want to know. Because he, he, he's very vague in what he's saying. And he has a lot to lose. So I don't fault him for not coming out and speaking just frivolously. No, 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 so let me tell you how everything go and just run off at the mouth. And then what you say can be used against you in a court of law kind of thing happens to him. Kind of thing. I'm not defending any of them. I don't know I wasn't there. I'm just looking at the thing from both sides. It don't look good. It really look like. It really, really look like something happened where shouldn't have happened. I'll put it that way. Whether it was she gave some and now is recanting or... Listen, I will say this. I will say this. And I have control over this. My brother's out there. My granny used to say, see? Rest in peace, Miss Ruby. My granny used to say, if you never go under the fall, Ruth, go sit down. 
Fall couldn't do no fire. Chicken no fly over people and do the fun them. You go under the fall, roofs go sit down. So, what we as men have to keep in mind and look at all that's been happening, not just with Richard Stevens and these allegations or whatever, we have to remember to conduct ourselves in a certain way. Don't go under the fall, roofs go sit down at all. Make it so that when they come with that story, if they do come with a story, you could straight away be like, eh, no. And here is proof. You know what I'm saying? Um, not talking about her, but talking about other people now. I have seen where some women were wild and frivolous and young. I might have went out one of those nights and had too much to drink and, you know, uh, let her guard down around somebody she thought was tall and cute and handsome and whatever. And him probably take it when him shouldn't have take it because at some point she did say no. Or some of them didn't even say no at all. They went along with it. And now, years later, either they didn't get what they should have gotten out of the deal or... You know, there's somebody out there that's looking at me like I'm a hoe because we went out, got drunk, and him had his way kind of thing. And I did all some kind of stuff that I can't even speak about because I was drunk, you know? I mean, I can't even do them something there, but I'm do it that night. I can't be drunk. I tell you, I can't even remember half I, But, I, you know, and when these stories start to come back, they've remixed it. So in today's world, she could bring up accusations that... You might not go to jail, but it might affect your livelihood. It will affect your livelihood in a sense that if you're a person like Richie Stevens, shows could get booked, then canceled because people will start to show up with picket signs that says rapist. And they will start to tell the promoters, how dare you hire a rapist? These kind of things. Black or drunk, Cosby type, yeah, them kind of something there. Not even, um, not Cosby alone too, but yes. The other one, the Hollywood mogul. When I look at how many women didn't speak for however long, and I remember a couple of them saying, you know, this person is like a gatekeeper. So when you go into his place and you're realizing all your dreams come through, you know what he's doing is wrong, but he's telling you that you're going to get the part. You're going to be in that next movie. At the same time, you're telling him, yeah, but I don't want to sleep with you for it. And he's running. One of the females described how she ran up out of there with half of our clothes on because in the chair around his penthouse, around his penthouse, she finally got to the door. She tried it once. Oh, the, the door had like three locks on it. Each time she came around, she had to open one lock. And it would have locked it back. She opened one next lock till one time she finally opened all three and got out just by him grabbing a hold of her clothes. She left clothes in his hand. How she wanted to get out of there. How bad. And never reported it because he was well connected. And she had just gotten the movie part that was supposed to, that was about to make her career. She thought she'll get the movie part and then she'll report it later. And then the next movie part came. And the next one came. And then she was like, okay, I'm probably not gonna say nothing, just wait later, later, get my money, whatever. Here's my question to you Do you think? That he did it. Do you think that he did it? Blair Boyd. They blocked your comment. But I'm going to free it up. You don't need nobody to speak about what is truth or lies. Once you rape someone. If there was rape. There was looking for penetration into her and they are looking for semen. Okay. She did a rape kit. 
an overwhelming amount of people are saying yes. Hmm. Now here's my next question to you that are saying yes. Hard yes. Talk Truth says hard yes. An overwhelming amount of people I see are saying yes. Why? What do you think happened in, in um, Australia with the rape kit? Remember, predators are convincing. They talk you in a sense. It's like a grooming thing. Make her feel safe around you. Wait until the right time, then pounce. Some are very patient. Yes. Men will save him. Don't worry. You can improve your innocent victim. Comes first. How can Richie Stevens prove his innocence here? That's a good, that's a question. How can he prove, prove his innocence? You think it was swept under the rug in Australia? Ellie London says he can't. Something happened so flow that made her feel uncomfortable. And if she said no, then it is no. I agree. I agree. And that is why I said did sexual relations take place between him and her? I want a yes or a no to that. Because Richie never said any sexual relations took place. He said she did a rape kit. He said she, which tells me that she did a rape kit. Somebody could go as far as doing a rape kit for some rape them and me never touched them, me and them never had anything. So I'm trying to understand deeper because we weren't there. You know what I'm saying? So I want to know. Richie should have came out and said, listen, we were in there together. Her friend left. We did have sex. It was consensual. And the next thing I know, she's off to the police station doing a rape kit and accusing me of rape. Now I could start to work with the story. But if one is accusing one of rape and the other is saying none of that happened, then I mean... How, how that the investigation went? What was the findings of that investigation? Because that's the first question that needed to be asked and the first base that needed to be established. Was there any sexual relation between the two in that time frame that they both speak of? It's a yes or a no. And if it was, the next question that should be asked is, was it consensual? Yes or no? I'm confused just like you are confused. I don't want to throw the brother under the bus. I don't want to throw Rich Stevens under the bus. But I don't want to victimize the victim either. Or the alleged victim either. So I'm going to stay on the fence on this one. But may I tell you, it don't look good. She told a very convincing story. And I am pretty convinced. But may I go and hold it down. I need to hear more from Richie. God, this another person, um, allegation, accusation of this, you know. I need to hear more from him. I need him to come out and lay it out on the table and sift through it once and for all and then say, this is where I'm going to leave it at and do that. Citizen Blue says consensual with regrets. Her side doesn't say any of that. Her side, she's saying it was no from the very beginning. Somebody's mom had surgery. She was her, his mom's going through it. He's out on tour, can't be there for mom. He got off the phone, visibly upset, whatever. You need a hug? He asking for a hug. She give hug. Ah, uh, oh, uh, 
hog turn to come here, squeeze me tighter. What are you doing? Stop. It's weird. Weird. No, don't tell Citizen Blue if you take with himself. Kai, listen. This is what I was speaking of earlier. Sometimes there have been these cases of consensual with regrets. Like they really went in there and did it, and now they have regrets. So them ball are real. I'm not saying that's her situation. I'm just saying that those things happen too. If we're going to look at something, we have to look upon it from all angles. We can't just take one person's story and go, I'm guilty, frying. Or he's innocent, she lying, dismiss her. You know? We have to really look at the story and say, what makes sense? What is missing here that is obvious, needs to be answered, but is not being answered? She is saying that there was sexual contact. It was non-consensual. He hasn't even addressed that there was sexual contact or admitted that there was sexual contact. So how can there be rape if there was no sexual contact? Some of what I hear from him. Oh, no, do it. Yeah? You, did you do what she said, like penetrated? Yes? Okay, so there was sexual contact. Okay, all right. You know, she said she never gave permission to do it. That's where we will begin that conversation. Twenty nineteen rape allegations by Brittany Higgins. Go look it up. Queenie Morris, what is that about? I mean, I like when people just say go look it up. Twenty nineteen rape allegations by Brittany Higgins. Brittany Higgins, Australia rape accuser in hospital amid pressure. Miss Higgins has alleged about her alleged rape in Parliament. And then again, in Australia, the rules are kind of different. Somebody says, so flow, bone to kill, I said, B.R. Richie Stevens, innocent. Um, morning, you're live on the air with SoFlo TV. So morning. Good morning. I'm gonna ask you one question. Yes, because I'm uh, I'll be speak. Uh, say that again. I was trying to plug you up to a speaker, but it didn't work. Repeat that, please. Hello. Hello? Big man. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you blocked out on me. I couldn't hear you. So could you repeat that for me, please? Yes. Are you hearing me clearly now? Clearly, yes. All right. My question to you is, when was Harvey Weinstein case? Was it 2018? Harvey Weinstein case was 2018, 2019, 2018, 2019, 2021. I don't remember. Celebrities, most of them, let me say, are not smart because you all have remembered that all those cases took place years back and they saw the movement in that era. And everybody came out, hmm, name them and shame them. What happened? Do you remember? Right. How many of these celebrities were taken down? Right. No. If he was. Aware of what is going on. Ah, uh, I, uh, I know what you're saying. I see where you're going with this. All right. Yes. So he's a smart person. So these people, to me, they think sometimes because they're celebrity, they try to do certain things and don't know that it will come at them at some point in time. But if you listen to what he said, when he was arrested, he called his lawyer, Christopher Towson. Right, and he advised him what to do. And he advised him what to do. Big lawyer. 
Right. Big lawyer. So he's saying that no. When he addressed the situation, when I watched, I was saying, hey, you're not saying nothing to me. You're not saying nothing to me. He said he put out a, uh, what they call it, whatever notice on it, IG. Mm -hmm. um, what they call it, whatever he put out. So he left it there from 2019. But most of it, and don't pay attention to me. He said, put it out and left it, and he put it out 2019. So he didn't address it no more. He just left it right there. Right. So, this is what I'm picturing. This lady, saw Tanya Stevenson, uh, came out to, and I'm saying, this is the reason why she actually came out to, but there's something, and I say, I, I believe the lady, you know, it doesn't matter who. And I'm not dragging on Jamaica, I'm not dragging on my black brothers, because I love Richie Stevenson. Same. I love him. As a uh, yeah, as an artist, I, I've never had any reason to not like him as a person either. He's one of the ones that have been squeaky clean, right? Very much. I love the boy. All the way there, what you can't answer them. Oh my God! But listen to me now. When I look at it and I say, mm -mm, I, I realize that something happened. Like, is it some eating one? Some um, protected space went on, so maybe the lady did not know too that he had a condom on, and maybe after the encounter, you know, she started talking, she said that really nothing not gonna go for her good as maybe, so she cried foul, so, but something went on. Yeah, yeah. Something went on, so that's what I'm saying. So, I'm not killing him, but he must know what goes on. It is not my business, as I said, these people need to be blinking smart. They travel worldwide. They know people throw themselves at them. Fix up themselves. And if you notice, if you notice the type of people then, mm -hmm. I could have used my two fingers and you know what that means. They always chose. Mm -hmm. Look at Kobe Bryant, the person who, you understand, the side chicks then, remember all of these things. Listen to me. They need to be wiser. And they need. Not talk about trouble with your wife and all of that and your spouse and all of that. Need to control themselves. That's mm -hmm. all we need to say. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bless her. Yeah. She's saying what I'm saying. It, 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 it look how we It look how we You're live on the air with SoFlo. Good morning. Good morning, fam. Yeah. You have to load up the thing, you know, because you sound like you're asleep and people can't hear you. And... Ah. <laughs> I may apologize to wifey from now and both of us behalf. <laughs> oh, wag wag family. Yeah, <laughs> wag. The topic is base about, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, me it's not a thing in general. I'm not going to say yo. I'm not going to say yo. It's not happen, but yo, brother, I talk. It's all the way, man. I'm not going to say where, like, she don't mean put up a resistance. And, yo, my belief is, brother, yo, something in a something in a man, something in right. Like what? What do you, what you feel like? Should I try to set him up or you feel like him really do it? Or? We got through the system right now. No rape case. All rape case always turn out to be. You understand? There was this. That's what I mean. I'm just like, yeah, next year, let's change. There was this case. When we went with that, we got through the system. We had this suit. We said this suit. Come in. Them time they made a run room on. And you come in. I was asking you to him come in for. You must say, yo. He come in for rape. So I say. Me, and then he start telling me, say, the girl beg him, beg, beg him for follow her, go up at half a cheese station for something. And then he follow her, go up there. When he up there, like she walked going at the station and left him outside. When he see her come back, he, she... Go in there, go tell them, say, I'm a ripper. 
Yeah. She going to go tell police and him rape, him rape her. Yeah. Go and tell the man say, the man say when him see two police him come, him at them come with her and him, and and him, and him the day they for her. Same thing as something else. In front to see police him come and lock you, hold him up and say, yo, we are charge you for rape, you know. When we come, say, the man come in and the man tell me what really go on. The man say, yo, I just show me like he had no money in my youth. She walk him go up a station. She walk wait till she walk him go up a station and tell him wait outside. <laughs> yeah, what? Wicked. We was at the rape case in Jamaica. Sometimes I know the victim member the rape. You know, sometimes the mother, father, friend, auntie, and granny. You know, sometimes they not even get what they want from the man. I mean, I will say yo, which time is still? I mean, never did it. Mm-hmm. When you see our talks and they have listened to people talk, is it me? Sure. Yeah, yeah. And you see me, I say, listen to your partner, listen to your partner. After the man done, you know, she say, you know, and the man asks her if she want to go up. She said no, because she traumatized her brother. If you and the woman and she has a shot call and nobody not here, brother, like, First thing, if a man rape you, the first thing you want, if you get the least of a chance of going, you're going to run like that and pay for your kid. You understand? Not always, you know, brother. Not always. May I tell you, um, sometimes the victim is so traumatized and stuck right which part them there. And, and I mean, is in, in, in their mind, is like the worst thing just happened to them. So what can, what can get worse than, than this? And there's them stuck. Sometimes I'm stuck, right? That's all. Yo, listen. Listen, me, Joe. Different people handle things differently. I'm weird. I'm weird. I'm weird. Too much. Nearly, nearly 50 years to make a talk. Yeah, man. Yeah. 50 years. Brother, some people not even talk at all throughout them whole life. Them just keep it. You know? Still, you see me? me I say, she need to run her talk. Even if she not talk, she, she need to she need to talk with more detail and more. I make mean, more comments because if me the yes, so, mm-hmm. I hear she make that talk. Me not gonna believe. You understand? Know certain things, in my opinion, certain things. Say me not gonna be. Shall we say more? Shall we say the more facts? Is it my say my chief? Say. You don't know, you don't know, I know, but what? 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 For me, still, she give all the facts. I Richie, Richie need to say more to me still. Jado. Yo, Jesus. Jado, Rich, Richie, I <laughs> mean, no, I no want to throw Richie and the boss leader, you know what I'm saying? Because this thing can get ugly real quick. Defamation of character and all these things, but. Richie, my brother, my brother is working TVJ. Me and the man, the couple years ago, me and the man, they are working. Yeah. They keep on showing me the man, they keep on showing that West Malan. They want one, one, one golf course and me, him and my brother, they, they have, we see the man, wife, uh, everything and yo, Rich, me the back and I meet him, yo, Richie seems a nice person. Me not gonna say him is not, him not good, but he said for me, the man throw, yeah, I know some people can't, can't have skeleton in the closet. Like brother, the pastor, them were rip off the little girl them in that church and the little boy them, they were nice persons too. The whole congregation believed them, told them nice. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Richie? He's a big man. I'm a shot. Ja! 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 Watch, but it does come out and say, yo, Richie, I remember. I remember. She do it. She do it. Come in. That may I try to tell the people them. Yeah. On both sides. All right, power next one. Uh, who Tanya talk about it? No, missing. I think Tanya put out a statement. You know, I said, um, stop calling me near man, stop going like you know, uh, like on a care and uh, all these things. So, me never cover it, me never really cover Tanya's th- thing. But Tanya been um saying that for a, li- a long time now. And the first time me hear that accusation of rape there. 
So, but the who she attack? Yo, listen me now, man. You don't know who she attack. As I'm a friend here, you say, uh, Mr. Steve, she attack. You may say, what? No, the girl, no, no. Tanya is not connected to Richie Stevenson. Richie Stevenson, you're, you're coming late and I show up. Richie Stevenson now is a Chinese girl. Oh. And she give PRP to her first part of this video here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she had explained what happened when she was on tour with him in Australia. Rape kit oh. get taken and all these things. And, you know, yeah, but me and Richie oh. need to come out and say more. You have to talk about one different case, brother. <laughs> Me said, him done at the book, him get the library. Him get, <laughs> them give him the whole library, him done. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we as man, we need to realize what go on and keep ourselves in a certain order. You see me? It's a family life flow. It's a one thing we need a flow. We respect and want people, the audience, the man audience, the youth audience, and to look to you and as you say, you is not more realizing you is not in a life of foolish. No, brother. Just like me. I remember tell people, you know, if your audience and what hear me, all the Jamaican people and boys, and I chat things. God, Jehovah, bless family. Always remember that people. Yes, indeed. God, Always bless family. Indeed. See, I want to know them, take care of them family. God, I'm going to provide for him abundantly. God, throw him wildness for him. I'm protect him in, 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 in life, in him daily bread, everything. The moment they wash up your family, I guess I have a good one. And God, and if God, God is the orchestrator of the family. And if you're married, you're up poor one of God last. So God, I'm going to always bless him. So, Big up soul flow to them. She says I found out. Manners are respect, my lord. Watch her sometime. <laughs> manners, manners, manners. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really amazed how you and your family, man. There's a matter of imitate you. We have to keep it in order here, sir. Because you see, one time, listen, we know what. This I think me are trying to do. Me are trying to be one kind of an example still. Because, you know what? Exactly. No make no trouble come your way if you can't sidestep it, sidestep it. Because once you get caught up in a damn thing, I know. I straight down here, listen up. Listen to me now, man. Listen to me now, man. You know the you know the shrimps here, dog. You know the shrimps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One yeah, little man. five minutes of fun turning and mash up your life. Yeah, I'm trying to give them some full of especially you, the black and them, the black and them. We did in a job, we in America, we don't know nothing while I go on sometimes if I know for uno. We don't know nothing. See it there? Yeah, that's Fuck with one lane, man. So yeah. blessings all around, you know? <laughs> big up Monday melodies. Man of that respect, my brother. I big up wifey for me here. All right. All right, morning, wifey. Good morning. Big up yourself. All right. All right. Blessings. Yeah. Um. You know what? It, we we were going to talk about the Jack York thing, but this thing on I I will do another one on the Jack York thing, another video on the Jack York thing. Um, there's some updated information on what's going on with Jack York. I don't know him stab up a man over in <laughs> over in uh, the Netherlands, um, Amsterdam, and he was arrested. Um, he was charged, and uh, I mean I hear nothing about no bail. I'm still locked up and I've been keeping close to his social media stuff. And ever since that report came out, him social media stuff stuck, right? Which part of that there has been no update, no new anything. And this is in the middle of a tour where he should be going on to the next show and the next show and the next show. And him in a jail, lock up, facing charges. What he did to that man was serious. It was serious enough for the man to require surgery. Tab him up in his belly. Why he did it, what he's facing, all that stuff, we deserve a whole video for that. So I'm not going to do that here. So stay tuned. When you see me go live and talk about the Jack Your thing, just jump on on that live, okay? 
In the meantime, though, let me say to my people I'm out there, don't be one of those people that victimize the victim. A lot of women don't speak. See? And Monday Melodies, man as I respect, I'm big up yourself. And it's important to let people talk because then you get to understand um, things from a different angle. There are men out there who believe like Elisha tell because if it did really happen, she would have reported right away. And because she didn't report it right away, then something she got cook up and it can't be true. Men believe that. There are people out there that actually, there are women out there that actually believe that too. If it was me, I would have told right away. I don't believe her. She lying. But y'all got to understand that not everybody handles things the same way. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody handles things the same way. I've heard from many victims before who it happened to more than once. And me here, one woman said to me, said, so flow, it happened to me about four times or three times, whatever. She said, the first time it happened, I told the people I thought I was supposed to go to for uh, protection and clarity and all these things. I tell my mother, mommy say, I lie, me I tell. After she told me, say, I was telling a lie, the next time it happened, me just never said nothing. The third time it happened, me just lay down and take it. And just pray, say, it over soon. That kind of thing. So people handle things differently. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people are feeling in, a, in an inferior position. And when it comes to who they're looking at the, that's doing it, they're like, there's no way anybody is going to believe me against this person. Somebody else, I go on, keep me talk. And yeah, and just go through this on my own. Not because people come out years later doesn't mean that is lie. Some people, it take them years to process what the hell happened then is a deep violation is a deep violation for the men them who don't understand what a woman is talking about she was raped and whatever and how she have to go through it and handle it me why you yourself fit just think along these lines somebody hold you down pull down your pants and booger you and no matter how you did not fight them off you couldn't fight them off you might think you would have told somebody, but until it happens, you know, everybody has a plan, how I would do this, how I would handle this. Yeah, that's until it happens. And then once it happens to you, it's a whole different story. Me hear a man say already, uh, any boy I touch my daughter, chop up that blouse and skirt. Oh, that's the one thing me go to prison for. And guess what? It happened. And him daughter come tell him. And him never draw a blade to chop nothing, not even that blade of grass. You understand? So we all have these plans and how should stuff should go. Stuff don't always go like that. Yeah? I don't want to ever be someone who victimize a victim. So I don't discredit people's stories. What I will leave this video saying is this. This young, this young lady told a very credible story. Or she told a story in a very credible manner. She gave time and place and complete description with no itching. See? I don't think my brother, Richie, said enough in his defense. And I mean, this is your livelihood. This is your reputation. This is your, you are an international ambassador. You need to say way more than what you just said. I'm going to left it right. That's all. This platform is open. It's open to her, and I'm going to contact her and see if she wants to say more. But I'm going to contact her because me have questions. And I'm going to reach out to Richie Stevens as well because me have questions. And if he feels free to come on here and go elaborate, go deeper, then by all means, right? So we're extending the platform and Hoping they come forward and talk. Usually when I say I'm extending the platform, nobody comes forward. And usually when I contact them, them as soon as them find out, say I made them cut the contact short. I don't know why. My question them kind of got deep. See? And I require a little bit more than, oh, you're a celebrity. So yes, yes, yes. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I'm going to ask some hard questions. Right? I just want him clear him name though. Kind of look good. 
And on the other hand, I want her to get justice, if justice is what she's seeking, which she said she is. We're going to leave it right here for today. Continue this conversation. Big up on yourself. Thank you for tuning in. The next live, which I will probably do later on today, I'm not going to make it go too far, will be for Shelly and Gordon. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Shelly Ann says, great job. Keep it up with a nice donation, and I appreciate you greatly. The next live will be on DMAC. Thank you so much. The next live will be on the Jack Your thing, and we're going to break that down all the way. It that don't look good neither. All right? Have a wonderful day, and stay tuned for the next upcoming live, and I'll catch you later. Blessings. I'm out. Peace.